Hi, my name is Kate Madden. I'm a research economist um, at BCG. And today I'm standing in front of our pulses um, and the effective debriefing on pulses trial here at the Netherby trial site. Um, this work is funded by BCG members, so thank you very much for um, contributing to our research to ensure that we can continue to do relevant trials such as this one. Um, so with an increasing interest in deep ripping and how it works in the system, um, we've designed this trial to look at how deep ripping affects pulse rotations, given that they make up quite a large part of rotations these days. Um, so what we're trialling here is the effect of ripping on both lentils and chickpeas over the back there. Um, so we got the farmer, um, Rob Coe, uh, to very kindly rip a strip through this trial for us with their deep ripper. Um, we ripped to a depth of about 30 centimetres um, with 35 centimetre time spacings. Um, and so the, where the trial site is here at Netherby, um, it's a kind of it's a site with a few different soil constraints. Um, so we're facing um, the top soil is a non-wording sand, and then about 20 to 30 centimetres down, we have quite a hard pan of clay. Um, and it's shown up in past NDVI um, imagery of this paddock where where we've set up doesn't really perform very well. Um, so what we're hoping is that with the deep ripping, it'll break open that clay compaction pan. Um, it might also, and it'll bring some clay up to the soil, up to the soil surface, um, which will hopefully help to ameliorate some of that non-wetting sand. Um, so we're particularly interested in pulses, looking at the work that Michael Moody and Frontier Farming Systems have done with S. Mally Sustainable Farming um, and their trials up on the Dunes Fail system. Um, at Koolanong last year, um, Michael Moody saw one tonne to the hectare increases in chickpeas when comparing ripped and non-ripped. Um, so we're seeing if this could work um, in a soil type that's slightly different to the Dunes Fail system. It's not deep sand. Um, but deep ripping might be able to overcome some of the problems that we're facing. 